Okay, let's pick up all the ingredients for that balanced breakfast everyone's always talking about. Whew. Okay, let's eat. Before you dig in, can you tell which of these foods use genetic engineering during its production process? It might be the milk. The cow it came from could have been injected with BST, a genetically engineered hormone that boosts milk production. Or it could be the muffins. The grain used to make the flour could be a variety engineered to resist pests. The cereal could use those same grains to make the flakes. Or is it the margarine, which contains soy oil? More than half of the soybeans planted in the U.S. are varieties genetically engineered to tolerate herbicides. So, which one is it? You can't tell. Because currently, in the United States, the FDA doesn't require foods that use genetic engineering in their production to be labeled. In 1992, the uh, United States Federal um, Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, had made a ruling, it was pretty much a landmark ruling, uh, concerning GMOs and basically on labeling issues that they said uh, unless there is a significant difference that there does not need to be any labeling. The Food and Drug Administration's official policy on labeling reads this way. The agency is not aware of any information showing that foods derived by these new methods, meaning genetic engineering, differ from other foods in any meaningful or uniform way, or that as a class, foods developed by the new techniques present any different or greater safety concern than foods developed by traditional plant breeding. The method of development of a new plant variety, including the use of new techniques, including recombinant DNA techniques, would not usually be required to be disclosed in labeling for the food. But not everyone agrees that the foods are the same. An Iowa lawyer actually sued the FDA to get the foods off the shelves. He says the FDA ignored the findings of some of their own scientists. It's clearly clear that the predominant opinion among the FDA's, the Food and Drug Administration's own scientists that reviewed the issue was that genetic engineering is very different. And uh, in fact, one of the officials at the FDA whose job it was to summarize the input from their scientists stated in a memo to the biotechnology coordinator the processes of genetic engineering and traditional breeding are different, and according to the technical experts in the agency, they lead to different risks. Those risks are what concern many people. They fear that growing genetically engineered crops could affect the environment and the plants and animals living there. Another common concern is that the foods will trigger allergic reactions in people or animals that eat them. Because there is no long-term testing required by the FDA for these foods, Labeling is seen by some as a way to track any effects of the foods. Some even see labeling as a basic consumer right. It seems to me that labeling is a fundamental right that consumers should have. I mean, we after all live in a democracy and people should have access to information. And uh, the only way that you can have adequate access to information in terms of how your food was produced is if you have some kind of label that says, you know, here's what happened. If someone does get ill and um, and the, the, the food is not labeled, there's no way to track it. You know, how, if someone comes, comes down with an allergy and the food hasn't been labeled and, they don't, and there's no way to know whether or not the food they ate, what, ate was a genetically engineered variety or not, how do, you, how do you track that? So then you really can't protect future uh, uh, consumers for that, from that. And so, uh, so I think labels, labeling is essential. If the regulatory agencies did agree to a labeling system for foods that use genetic engineering, how would that system function? And where would you draw the line? What is it that you're saying about the product? Where do you stop? For example, if you label, how would you label beef or pork that is produced in part by feeding grain that was in part biotech grain? How do you, how do, you do that? Because right now we don't have the mechanism for detecting uh, the, the use of biotech products in the, the creation of livestock. We, we, we don't have the technology yet. So how would you label? What would you label? It's not just an issue for politicians and food producers. Kid consumers have definite opinions about the food they eat and how it's made. I'm in favor of labeling it genetically engineered food because the people have the right to know. People might, would want to know what's on it and what's in it because they could be allergic to it. I'm kind of for it and against it. The companies already have their labels down and it will cost them money. 
I think that if you went and relabeled everything, it'd take forever. Enough for me to see would be that it was genetically engineered in some way. I agree too. I think something little would be enough. We need to be really specific and do need to say what's in it and, you know, how it was produced. I would put like GEF, genetically engineered foods, and then put like a number you could call where it's like a recorded message. I just don't want it to be like a warning. It wouldn't necessarily be a warning. It would just let you know that this is different from other foods. It may scare some people into not buying that stuff if they have genetically engineered on the label. It's not really that big of a deal because it's basically just about the same. You should just go along with the nutritional facts is what I think because they tell you like the fat, the calories, the saturated fat, down there with all that and the vitamins and stuff, they could put this is genetically engineered. They, they have the right to know. Right now, most of the traits being genetically engineered into foods are on the production side, meaning they benefit the farmer. The traits make the farmer more productive, or more efficient, or lower costs. But there are consumer traits being developed too. Traits that directly benefit you, making your food more flavorful or more nutritious. So, what kinds of traits would you like to see developed?